<laughs> which team contains and houses the one guy in the conference championship games that has the biggest chip on the shoulder? I'll go okay. first. Okay. Go ahead. Going with this guy, and All I'm right. going with Nick Foles. Nick Foles was cut on national TV by a 4 and 12 Rams team yep. coached by Jeff Fisher. On Not, good Not good enough. Not good enough. We're not going to keep you around. We'd rather go with the guy you're playing against, Case Keenum, and Jared Goff. You were cut on national TV and disregarded. Mm. He's considered a backup quarterback in this NFL. He is always going to be looked at a backup quarterback because of the start of his career. He can erase all of that this week. Mm. You go out and you go to the Super Bowl, you are no longer a backup quarterback. You are a Super Bowl quarterback. I'm going Nick Foles. People said when he left the Rams, mentally soft, some of that stuff was out yeah, there. Sure. He wasn't tough enough. I remember. Hey, I'm here. Where are they? I like that. Bro, are you kidding me right now? The Jacksonville Jaguars quarterback, Blake Bortles, the one quarterback that everybody continually starts to bash as soon as the week starts. Oh, you know what? Blake Bortles is going to throw this away. And then when Fortnite went down, you know what? They're bums. They're not going to do anything without their running game. Blake Bortles, he's not going to make the postseason. Are you kidding me? The Jacksonville Jaguars, what has he done? He's put his team in a position to be in the AFC Championship game up against the GOAT. At the beginning of the season, we were saying, let's bench him. Let's bench him for Chad Henning, and he shouldn't even be on the field. And now this young man has put himself in a position where he's reinventing, rewriting his own script. I'm going with Blake Bortles. It's okay. not a chip. It's a boulder on mm. his shoulder. Those are good answers. <laughs> Who do you think, what player is going to be most? We don't most... have to criticize him, but we don't have to compare him to LeBron James, which he does on his own at press conferences. Yeah. Come he's on here. LeBron James Sorry. a quarterback. The one, the chosen one, Blake the Bortles. What do you I'm got? a witness. Um, which player is going to be most upset if they lose this weekend? That is my answer and is the quarterback of this team. Oh, yeah. The guy was born, I don't care if he has five or 50, Tom Brady will want to ruin the entire world if he loses this weekend, if he loses in the Super Bowl. We once talked to this guy, Anthony Brown of the Cowboys, who has an actual chip tattooed on his shoulder. Remember that dude? Potato <laughs> chip. Yeah, like a, it's like a, a Pringle or something. Brady should have a couple. I don't know if Brady has ink, but if he ever does, it should be a chip. Six rings, one tattoo. That's what he's got. I would bet a million dollars if Brady does not have ink. Me too. One million. Me too. I can't, uh, I can't tell anybody like on it. little Brandon Graham here. <laughs> Brandon oh. Graham still wants Peter fired. I still want him, wants it. I want Great him to call. say Peter Schrager every second of that game. <laughs> I want him to think it. I want him to live it. I want you to hear Peter Schrager's voice in your head, even though he didn't say anything bad. Peter that. Schrager. Peter or Peter or Preter? That's what Preter. I like. Preter. Preter. Peter, Peter Schrager. Right. Peter Schrager. <laughs> oh, Peter Schrager. Love that.